it's, uh, I think it's important to keep these goals on hand prior to leading up to big championships, so this is a, a ticket, or a box tick for us right now. Tell me about your wings with the wings also. How yeah, we knew we wanted to get out uh, relatively hard, but keep it comfortable, and we tried to be really strong along that back stretch, but the wind proved to be a little bit difficult, but that's okay. It's part of racing, and I can't control the wind, so we'll just try. Are you where you want to be before the world, as, as far as training, going, and performance? Yeah, I think we're right in the right spot right now. We have one more race coming up, so that'll be good to tr test the tactics again, but I think we're right where we need to be. And where is going to be this race? In Monaco. Uh, Oh, so great. It's nice to run at home. I haven't been home in a long time to run and to have my family and my friends come here. They've been beside me through this entire career, even before I was an Olympian. So to see them come out and, and cheer me on means a lot. Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of them up there. They're all in t shirts, most of them t shirts. So they're pretty loud. No, I, th I haven't. No, well, Pan Ams. Pan Ams is pretty incredible. Um, but being Ottawa, it's so close to the Ottawa Valley that a lot of supporters could come out and watch. What about the world? What, what, what would make you happy? Hmm. A podium finish would make me very happy. I think it's, uh, it's about racing and showing up on the day as it is with every championship. So if we can gear towards that and focus on everything leading up to there, I think we'll be okay. But that second place last time, does it put your expectations higher? Oh, it certainly does. I want to be on the podium all the time now because it's, uh, it's addicting to be on the top of your game. It's hard to describe what that's like, but to work for so many years and to finally see your performance come through, it's it's like a it's like an addiction. Like you, you just want to you want to keep going. You want more. How's it been like since finding that motivation? Honestly, it was hard this fall. It was pretty tough because we trained for so many years for one race on that day. And I think I performed at my best. That was probably my best race I've ever run on that day. So having time to think about it and what I actually did, I'm, I'm feeling much better about that. What's it like when you, you're around the whole way without seeing anybody, right? Yeah. Like a um, it is a time trial worry almost, yeah. I thought that some of the girls would have just stuck on my tail, but um, I didn't see anybody. But it was it's good to practice those things because there could be rounds in, in the championship race where you need to do that. So it was good to practice. How close have you been keeping an eye on the, your competition in terms of at the world level and for the 800? Um, pretty close. I mean, we race each other a lot in the Diamond League circuit, and that will probably be the majority of the girls there. Um, so I'll see them again in Monaco, but I just watched them run in Lausanne, it was a pretty hot race, so hoping to get another good one in Monaco. What do you think of the recent, uh, I guess, results that came out from the IAAF study about uh, the hydro and charges and kind of... I don't even know what you're talking about. I haven't okay. seen anything. Okay. Sorry, I try and stay off that stuff, yes. like leading up to this stuff, so I have not a clue what you're... Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to let the courts handle it. I mean, we, we just got to do our jobs and continue competing and let the big guys take care of it. I mean, we don't really have any control over it, so we'll see what comes out. Do they know when it's going to be? No. It's still going to be able to compete. Yeah, they're they're gonna able for the world. Yeah. Okay, so but after does it give you any hope? Um, I I can't go there yet. I mean, I still like I have to compete at worlds, and I mean the rules not changing for world championships, so I still have to compete. So we'll be there competing at our best. Middle distance running. You're gonna see basically the same thing. Yeah. Same real. No, I think if we just come in with prime prime fitness, prime mental abilities and be great on the day, it's anybody's game. Anybody's game. Do you think I can be faster? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I want another Canadian record, so I hope so. But knowing the same field yeah? and knowing what happened last time, is yeah. there any differences or changes you want to make? No, I ran... I'm a, a, 
to date a textbook perfect race in Rio, so if I can redo that but with more fitness, then I'm on top. For the men's I'm on top. Javelin.